Why was it necessary for you to say Serena couldn't beat the 700th player you, on the uh, men's circuit? She's the greatest female player that ever lived. Then the lady said to me, why did you say woman? Why don't you just say the greatest tennis player that ever lived? And so then I felt the need, I don't know, just say what I really felt, which is about what I think she would be. I think you're referring to the fact that I said she'd be about 700 right. in the world. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. just waiting. Would wait. you like to apologize? Uh, no, because it seems in tennis, unlike other sports that they're always asking about, why don't you combine, just solve the problem? I'm sure the men would be all for this. The men and women play together. And then we don't have to guess. Would you like to apologize? Hell no, to the no, no, no. Ah. See, this guy keeps on trying to bunt me every time I walk by. You like? Dude, I'm walking down the street. I'm standing here. I'm alive. Let him go sideways. Get out of my... All right, Alex, you need to leave. I'm not leaving, guys. You guys, you're trying to get in my way. I'm here on a public street. Get out of my way. Oh my God, guys, I'm so scared. The Antifa, they brought their play guns, their squirt guns. Oh my God, your arts and crafts time. Did this, is, did this mess up your arts and crafts time? You guys think you'll be able to go home and play with us? Why, why is it so tiny? Look how scary they are. Oh my God, this guy's so scared. I'm so scared. He's got his gun, his big gun. He's a big bad guy. Oh my God, I'm so happy you're protecting these children so they can go get indoctrinated and go in there for transgender story time. You're such a good American. Hiding behind their masks. They got their little guns. They think they're so tough. We're at a bookstore here in Denton, Texas where they're trying to do drag queen story hour. And of course, the typical people here with their masks on, not able to actually stand up for what they believe in because they're all cowards. Uh, so basically, this is Dr. Phil when he goes on The View. If you don't know what The View is, <laughs> it's like some woke propaganda, basically, and they just do some talk show with different people. Anyway, he goes on there, and he basically says the truth about COVID. They didn't like it, and they were like, oh, we haven't got enough time to discuss this, and then they ended the show. I guarantee he's never getting called back ever again, so let's check it out. Think about it. In, like, 08, 09, smartphones came on, and and kids started they stopped living their lives and started watching people live their lives mm. and so we saw the biggest spike and the highest levels of depression anxiety loneliness and suicidality since records have ever been kept mm. and it's just continued on and on and on and then mm. COVID hits 10 years later and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years mm. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? And by the way, when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60%. So, there was also a yeah. pandemic yeah, going was, on, they were trying to save they kids' lives. They were trying lives, to save so kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died during this so it wasn't people weren't laying uh, around eating children. bond but well you know what we're lucky maybe we're lucky they didn't because we kept them out of the 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 places that they could be, be sick because no one wanted to believe we had an issue are you saying no school children died of covid i'm saying it was the safest group they were the less vulnerable group and they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion, that's a fact. Well, Phil, we don't even have time to talk it out now, man. The moment he went against their agenda, what did they do? They booted him off the air, <laughs> obviously, as expected. But yeah, Whoopi Goldberg, I mean, she's so annoying. She's one of the most annoying people on television. He brought up children being abused and they came back with, oh, but there was a pandemic. Don't listen to a word he said. Like, they, they don't care because he went against the gender. They're not willing to be like, oh yeah, that actually was really bad. Maybe that should have been handled a different way. They're like, nope, you're going against the gender. Oh, he's the enemy. 
kick him off the show. But yeah, what Dr. Phil said was the truth. And it's funny how the second he criticizes the health authorities and how they dealt with it, they all look really scared. Anyway, big up Dr. Phil for that. I've got a lot of respect for him for going against all this woke bullshit. Can you show me any evidence that Medicare right now has contributed to lowering the price of healthcare? But the problem right now is prices, right? So everything costs too much in healthcare. The biggest problem is no one knows what anything costs. So you yeah. go to the emergency room, anyone experiences, yeah. you go to the hospital, you ask, it's boring, it's boring because we're talking about policy, not no, straight insults. No, it's boring because you have no reason to like have an opinion it's on any boring. of this. No, I, th I think what people are asking her, what would your solution be? No, I'm happy to. I, he finds it boring because we're actually yeah. building consensus, not screaming at people. Wait, wait. Hold on, wait. And so, you're and not a real know. politician, you're nothing. I'm sorry? You're nothing, you're not a real politician. I, I'm, I'm not pretending to be a politician. Nor you're just a provocateur. Okay, you have a right to say that and believe it, but I do have substance behind my position. I, I, mean, I had a question about uh, a stance. Thank American. you for being here. You're nothing, says the nobody. Ah. When you have light skin, you're not a terrorist. When it gets Why darker do you and darker, always, people you're like you a terrorist. always bring race into it. It's got nothing to do with race people like and me. everything to do with people who kill people. Mm. Yes, people yet, like you, race based. I have not like heard you. you. Yes. And I have not heard you really express this much outrage against the number one domestic terror threat against all our uh, communities in America and the UK, which is rising white Bro, nationalism. I am a, a dark-skinned, first-generation immigrant to the UK. I don't play your racial games. Stop using your skin color as a way to shut other people up, and let's talk about the issue. The issue here is, should we tolerate foreign terrorists in our country, or let's should we people remove down. them? And okay. my opinion is we should remove people who are not conducive to this country. And if someone like me, first generation immigrant, comes here and wants to be a terrorist, it is first generation immigrants like me that are at the front of the queue to get them out. Victimhood and race baiting is a big money hustle. I think everybody knows that at this point. It's so used up, it's so worn out. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything anymore because they literally call everything racist. And people like this, they go on TV, they make a career out of it. They don't care about solving any problems. They only want to further divide people because that's how they make their money. So that's why they're called grifters. But the other guy talking facts, and you see when you actually confront them with facts and logic and a bit of common sense, they have no answers. I like sausages meat. Yeah, so animal flesh, yeah. Unless you get a vegan sausage. So if you saw someone like eating a sausage, you would get like mad. Animals are enslaved, abused and murdered in the meat, dairy and egg industries. And that's what makes me angry. Wouldn't you agree? Not really. So you're okay with animal abuse? You find it funny? It's not abuse. No different to a psychopath. It's not abuse. You, you think this is not abuse? No. Well, you're actually eating a pig right now who was six months old and they were forced into a carbon dioxide gas chamber. They literally burned from the inside out and they screamed for their life and then they had their throat slit and you find that funny. That's not how it works. So if someone says, I'll be happier if I'm blind, should a doctor pull their eyes out? I think that's quite different than gender ideology, but people do, you know, I guess someone says I'm happier if I if I chop my dick off and we should just let them do that. I think, you know, there's a lot of gender affirming care that women do, right? I mean, women ascribe to certain gender things. You see women getting boob jobs to affirm their gender. I mean, we're in Los and you're comparing uh, boob jobs to a teenage girl chopping off her breasts. Well, first of all, teenage girls get boob jobs, but breast enhancements are gender affirming for many women. I'm, I'm asking you, why is it that people have to live under your sort of view of gender? And It's not my view, it's science. It's facts, it's biology. But biology, if, in, in, if we're talking biology, there's a spectrum of gender. There's people that are intersex. That is a very a rare medical condition that has nothing to do with someone deciding that they could be the opposite gender. What harm are they doing by living their life as a woman who medically transitioned, they're, they're adults, you know, I understand you have problems with kids, but with adult trans people, what, what's the harm that they're doing to society? To society, it's they're, they're spreading a lie that is affecting children also. Uh -huh. So you just believe gender is, is a lie. And what if somebody said to trans, you... Trans, you can't change your gender. Uh -huh. And what if somebody said to you, you know, you're not a real woman. You're not a real woman because maybe you don't, you don't meet these certain specific definitions of femininity. That's fine. I don't care. They can call me whatever you want. But what if you would be forced to live by that system? Do you think it's fair that you would, you know, be forced Is that to based in, like, science? Well, I don't think any of it's really based in science. Well, it is. Gender is a sexes. social construct. Well, well gender is actually made up. 
Exactly. Um, yes, we agree on this. By someone who, we by, agree. by a child predator, by a pedophile. Uh, we don't agree. Yeah. We so, don't agree on so that. he made up gender, and now they conflate the two, and they use it to, uh, to basically, uh, trans kids. Um, so there are actually two sexes. And there are zero genders, and there are many personalities. That's what I believe. And that was the founder of Libs of TikTok debating with some woke journalist. I mean, check this out, first of all. This is not a grassroots movement about equality. This is a top-down ideology heavily promoted by governments and institutions. It divides us and their focus is on our children because if you can confuse someone about their basic identity, you can convince them of literally anything. How crazy is that? It's actually true. But anyway, yeah, the woman was saying, oh, you can't think of any harms. Well, they're quite obvious. You're manipulating kids into believing they can change their gender for one. So that's pretty dangerous. And also you're encouraging people who may, <laughs> they may have untreated mental illness. So obviously it's pretty reckless if you ask me. And I found it quite funny when she said, how would you feel if someone told you you're not a real woman? And why is she gonna care about that? She is a real woman. She doesn't need validation because she knows what she is. It's only the men dressed as women or pretending to be women who seem to care when you tell them, oh, you're not actually a woman, you know that. Then they're like, how dare you?